All right, welcome back to the OBS Super User Guidebook. We are about to get into IP video. Video that is either sent over the, the public internet, the wide area network, or your local area network. If you're using OBS, you likely have a computer that's connected to your network and connected to the internet. So these IP video standards we will cover, Video Ninja, NDI, RTSP, and SRT will open up the possibilities for you to use video sources that are coming over the public internet or local to your network that you have set up. So without further ado, let's start with Video Ninja. So real quick, before we get started, I want everyone to know you can download the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. You can get a paperback copy on Amazon. And if you'd like us to post more videos like this on our YouTube channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Only about 10% of our audience is subscribed. And if we're doing something wrong, let us know in the comments below because we want to do better. All right, see you in the next video. All right, so let's take a look at video.ninja. Right at the beginning here, you should know Video Ninja is totally free. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to sign up. You can just get started using it, and it's really, really cool. You can start by creating a room, and a room is a space where you can pretty securely start a video sharing space in a WebRTC web browser environment, and you can invite your friends. And it's really, really cool. This is an easy way to branch from a video kind of like sharing podcasting room to also using your smartphone as a camera inside of OBS and a remote screen share inside of OBS. So Video Ninja creates a browser-based WebRTC video sharing environment that you can use in multiple ways inviting your friends to be on a talk show with you, adding a camera, maybe a mobile device or a tablet via Google Chrome or a web browser, and then a screen sharing session as well. Let's go ahead and create a room. We'll call this the OBS Super User Room. And we're not gonna put a password on here, but I would highly suggest that you put a password on if you're doing a show, for example. Now, there's a couple different options here, allowing the guests to be able to see the director, but not the other guests' video. That's more for like a private talk show. And there's another where the director will be performing as well and appearing in the group scene. So we'll say yes to that, and we will enter the control room. Now, the control room essentially gives you a website address that you can use to invite your guests. Now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make four rooms, four people joining, and we're going to join with a camera. Now, uh, we're not going to send any audio just because uh, we're already using our video sources here. Let's go in here. Now, remember, this is a WebRTC system. So whatever camera you are using for your web browser is the camera that will be selected. So you can see here, we've actually got an OBS virtual camera. Why don't we use that since we are doing an OBS tutorial here, selecting OBS virtual camera. We're not gonna send any audio because I just don't wanna have any audio loops. And when we click start, that's gonna join the room. So that's the first user of the room. Now we can add many, many guests. In fact, you can have well over 20 guests. And each time you add a guest, you get some controls as the director. So you can transfer them, message to them. So if we send a message, just say hi, we'll see over here. There's a message from the director that says hi, you know, you're up next, for example. Um, and you can actually di speak directly to each of the people that are in your presentation here. So each of your guests or people who are joining your session will have this control bar at the bottom where you can share files, you can chat, you can mute your speaker, your microphone, turn your camera off, or start a secondary stream. And the secondary stream would be for a screen share. So you can do a screen share as well, which might be handy if you're sending video over the network and having a guest present. Now, each time that a new person joins, we'll go ahead and just join. Now we're seeing two people in the room, okay? 
So the room, we're starting to add people to the room and you can, you can add multiple people into the room. What we can do back in OBS is we can add this entire link and we can customize it. We can change a few things. For example, we can show display names. That, that's a good one. And there's a bunch of options. We're not going to go over everything because you're going to have to play around with it. Every situation is different. But let's create a scene for our, let's call it a video podcast, guest. And all we have to do is add a browser input here. We'll call this Video Ninja Room. And we just paste the link in there. We'll do 1920 by 1080 and control audio via OBS and click OK. Now that's going to bring in our room. So there's our two guests. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what, what else we can do here. So we can go ahead and highlight the guest. Now, when we click highlight guest, it goes full screen. So let's look at this side by side. Okay. So as you can see here, using Video Ninja, you could have somebody else doing this for you as well. You have the ability to start highlighting guests and creating a really nice scene where you can add people to different scenes. Now, here's another option that you can do here. You can create multiple scenes. So we can create a new scene. Let's go ahead and copy our link up here. This is our, our link that we're going to copy to get this room. And let's create a new scene. So second video ninja scene. Okay. And we're going to hit add browser source room two. And we're going to click it in here. But in with scene, we're going to hit equals one. We'll just, well, let's call it equals new room. Click OK. Now, when we do that, what you're going to see here at the bottom is we've got this scene new room. And what that does is it allows you to have a secondary scene that you're controlling. So now we have one room where we've got all of our guests and we don't need to use the highlight button. It's, it's nice. You could definitely do that. But we also have a secondary scene where we can have multiple people in a second room. So this Video Ninja is totally free. You can have multiple guests. It's got tons of great options for controlling your video. And as you can see, it can be used for sharing extra cameras, inviting guests. It's very easy to manage. It's all browser-based. And it can be a great replacement for Zoom. And it really was designed for production. So you've got a lot of great production options here. It's totally free. Check it out and use it. This is over the wide area network using your internet connection, your bandwidth that you have for the internet to send video to and from OBS. It's really cool stuff. Video Ninja is totally free. So it's become a very popular solution for those folks using OBS. Now, of course, we've talked about in this course using Zoom with OBS. You may prefer to use a paid cloud-based video communication system. Now let's take a look at NDI in our next video.